You're back. I, I thought you'd be stuck in the game forever. <laughs> like there's no place like home. Everyone okay? I think so. Well done. You've saved the world from a terrible menace. But did you find out who created the virus? We've got a pretty good idea. Good, because whoever created the virus must be punished. Glad you agree, Professor, because you're as much a suspect as anyone here. What? Me? But I'm a scientist. I've dedicated my life to my students and this university. But you also stood to make a quarter million dollars at the science fair. If you stole the invention. Oh, preposterous! And let's not forget Officer Wembley. What? I'm an officer of the law. Sort of. Anyway, I've never committed a crime in my life. But you were the only person that was with us in the lab when we got sent into the game. But once inside the game, we found some important clues. Our first clue came when we were on the moon level. The phantom virus shouted, play ball. And on the Colosseum level, we found some chalk lines like a large diamond. But our biggest clue was on the final level. When the phantom virus appeared in a batting cage. All I'm getting is that the virus had a thing for... Baseball! Bill! Not so fast, kid. Okay, son, it's all over. Bill, you were my best friend. And my best student. But you didn't pick my project. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Professor Kaufman chose your video design over mine, even though I've been here two years longer. Students are all equal, Bill. So, you invented the phantom virus, hoping it would scare Eric away. That's right, and it worked. Till you guys showed up. You were afraid that we would find out who created the virus. So you beamed us into cyberspace. The prize would have been all mine if it wasn't for... Us meddling, meddling kids! kids. <laughs> <laughs>